Hello Aquarius. I'm gonna do your past, present, future reading using the Lover's Path Tarot deck. Whoa, I'm tired of this happening today. Anyways, past, present, future of your lover and yourself. So the top two cards will be your past, your present. The bottom cards will be your lover's past, your lover's present. And then the two side cards will be the possible future of the couple. And the last card will be an overall message or lesson um, for the couple. So your first card, you got Cleopatra and Caesar, fertility. That's your past, fertility. Your present is Ace of Coins. Let's read those cards. So in the past, you experienced... Oh, and then the um, fertility card and the traditional deck would be the Empress card. So the card um, talks about ruling over one's life, a new marriage or special relationship, practical action that manifests as physical product, children, artistic endeavors, or wealth. That was your, your past. So the, the in the past, you two have had a special relationship or you guys got married. Um, and yeah, and you guys probably had a child or birth in, birthed some type of an artistic um, business together or... Are probably experienced wealth together. Now, presently, you are the Ace of Coins. More about fertility, growth, and prosperity. The beginning of a new phase filled with good fortune, attainment of material goals, contentment, and personal life. So in the past, you guys could have gotten married or could have gotten engaged. And presently, you guys are happy or getting married. Um, in the past, you guys could have started an artistic venture together, some type of a business. And are, presently, you guys are going to reap benefits from something you did in the past concerning, like, um... Something you birthed together. Okay, so for your lover's past, he has the four, he or she has the four of coins in reverse. And for present, he or she has love. So the four of coins in reverse talks about being stingy with wealth, being stingy with talents, being the need to conserve and protect resources, overly spending, and being overly gen generous with money. That was in the past. In the present, you have love, Isis and Osiris, your, I mean your partner. So that would represent the lover's card. So you guys got the empress card and the lover's card and ace of coins. This is an overall happy relationship, or it could be. Love um, talks about harmony, passion, and sensuality. Awareness of the nature of passionate love and what is needed to encourage it. A new important relationship, peace within oneself, love that transforms the world around you as well as yourself. So even if you were not married to this person in the past, you could have been somebody that was married and that came into a relationship with somebody who, who understands what they need to do so that they can marry you 
if that makes sense. Or, or are they possibly, every, not everybody wants to have a marriage or be married, but the idea is of union. This person understands what is needed for you guys to have a perfect union. And you guys possibly might have a past life together in, um, in like ancient Egypt or something. Because here we have Cleopatra and Caesar with the fertility card. And here we have Isis and Osiris with the love card. So in the so the possible future that you might share as a couple, you have Prince of Arrows. That's you, but it's in reverse. So not understanding as much as one would like to, feeling unable to stand up for oneself. Are feeling inaccurate that's the possible future that this couple might share and it might have something to do with the fact that your um, your spouse or lover had a problem in the past with overspending and being over generous so although your lover understands um, what to do to be loved by you they might be a little, find themselves a little confused because for you, it doesn't take for them to spend their money on you and keep giving to you and giving to people all around you. That's being wasteful and that would come up as a problem. Prince of Arrows in reverse. Not understanding as much as one would like to. Feeling unable to stand up for oneself or inaccurate. Okay, and the um, overall message or lesson of this spread is innocence. And that would be the Fool card. The start of a great journey. In a sense that allows one to be open to possibilities and protects from difficulties. Facing fears, trusting your heart, feeling protected by divine forces. So despite the, the overspending or the overindulging of being nice to everybody outside of the relationship, you and your partner will be able to, um, to come together on this journey of love. And reap the benefits of being together. Um, I'll tell you the story of Tamino and Pamina. If that's how you pronounce their names. The Magic Flute was the last opera Mozart composed before his death in, in 1791. Some of its fairy tale plot was inspired by the rites of the Freemasons, a secret society into which Mozart had been initiated. The magic flute tells of a princess named Pamina and a prince named Tamino, who learn to trust their hearts, innocent and inexperienced as they may be. So yeah, this looks overall like a happy couple. Um, one might be experienced in marriage and love, where the other one has not had the experience but overall you guys have a happy um have a happy have a chance of a beautiful relationship treasure chest an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now so where somebody was an overspender that's gonna be um changed by the abundance that's coming in. Break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. You're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Express yourself through creative activities. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Let's 
get a message from your lover. I keep you separate from my friends and family because they are judgmental and mean. You are my prize. I want you to stay free from negativity. I love your angelic vibe. So yeah, so maybe that's why you need to create a sacred space. Um, because your person is looking at you as a, as like an angelic, an angelic being who is positive and free of negativity. Um, and a sorceress, the universe says that you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So... I think that you are someone who is being divinely guided to take a spiritual approach in life right now. Um, yeah, and you should pray, pray on that and look into spiritual practices. Especially regarding this relationship because it might be something that you could do spiritually to help your partner. And healing with their past issues of um, overspending and overindulging, if that makes sense. Here, can we have a little bit more insight or advice for my... Are we doing Aquarius? Aquarius friends? Now, if this is not Aquarius, my feelings are going to be so hurt. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me, y'all. Knowledge and lungs. Okay, so knowledge. So just based on just how I just said, I feel like spirit is telling you to take a spiritual approach. So you possibly need to um, update yourself on what's currently going on right now in life. Google spirituality and see what it's all about. Because sometimes we are bound by what we were taught as a child. And we should be released by what we learn on our own as an adult. You also got lungs. Um, and the lungs, this is what the picture looks like. I just think it has something to do with us breathing in the truth and releasing deceit, deception, lies, and confusion. So find, find the knowledge of who you are and what you're capable of doing. And breathe that truth into your lover. Your lover will appreciate it. He'll, he or she will appreciate the truth. Thank you, Aquarius friends. Bye.